Okay, so we've got this demonstration on the upright stand in relation to the wearing the correct kit when you're out riding on the bike. And it really is important. We're really thankful for Thornycross for providing us with this mannequin that we're able to use. So it's a nice, simple demonstration. It's visual, nice and easy to understand in that if you're not wearing the correct kit when you're on a motorcycle, these are the kind of injuries you can expect and far, far worse than these. Unfortunately, if you are to be wearing a t-shirt and you were silly enough to wear shorts, um, then should you come off on the motorbike when you're out uh, riding, injuries could be uh, catastrophic. Uh, limbs are often lost, unfortunately, in injuries. Uh, we can have protruding bones, for example. So we encourage riders to wear the correct kit. And it may well be a case of simply wearing um, leathers, which are a little bit old school now. So this textiles, and you look around here today, a lot of people are wearing textiles. Well, fortunately, the only legal requirement on a motorcycle is a helmet. However, those that are in the, uh, the policing world will know that to have the correct kit on is absolutely paramount. So we encourage riders to wear a proper jacket that's CE approved that will do the job should you fall from the bike. And that is about having padding in the back, padding on the shoulders uh, and also on their elbow. So should you go onto the ground that they get protection there. What we can't show is gloves. Absolutely essential when you fall off ordinarily same as when you fall down you put your hands out to pr uh, provide a, a break to your fall really really important a demonstration uh, that has been given before is where we say to somebody would you run along the road here and throw yourself on the floor nobody's ever taken me up on it and as a result of it it sort of hits home the message and the importance about wearing gloves and then finally uh, the legs and the boots 74 percent of all accidents involve trauma or injuries to the lower limbs. A lot of riders will wear simply just jeans. So we encourage riders to put on padding. The padding is ordinarily on the hip, uh, along the backside sort of areas and on the knees. So with that, um, you can get again textiles where it has padding in such areas. Uh, and you don't necessarily have to have leathers either. You can wear textiles that allow it to breathe. Jeans these days are relatively cheap that have got uh, CE approved armor within them. And again, really, really worthwhile. Uh, and finally, down at the bottom then, I just mentioned about the footwear. Wearing essential footwear is, is, uh, is a necessity that's often overlooked by riders. So you'll get people wearing trainers, wearing work boots, but it's really important that you wear the correct kind of kit when you're on the bike. So you've got your toe sliders on here to provide protection should you be going with corners. But more importantly is the support that the side of the boot gives on the side here and on the inside here. Should you go sliding down the road, you could find yourself, your ankles dragging onto the floor and this will hopefully provide that level of protection. On this example, for example, you can see just on the top here um, that it would provide a level of protection should you slide. And whilst we're talking about sliding, I think it's important to note that should you deal with blunt trauma, for example, hitting a tree, the front of the vehicle, this sort of equipment isn't going to save your life. Um, saving lives will come from the people that come and the paramedics that are going to come to you, the first responders that are there at the time. However, what this will do is protect you should you fall from your bike and slide. And that's what it is. Ride for the slide is the saying. It's a simple message. Uh, unfortunately, it's not a message that everybody understands. Oh,